So, to start off, are you aware of the three positioning techniques? No. Alright, so we have head glitching, jiggle peeking, environmental awareness. Just to explain what those are really quick. Jiggle peeking is uh re-peeking and uh and unpeeking an angle continuously. For example, if I'm peeking a door or I'm peeking around a wall, I'm going to either bait shots from my opponent and unpeak, re-peak and bait shots to make them reload so that I can stand out in the open and spray them without fear of getting shot. Or I'm going to jiggle between it, uh in between shotgun shots or wingman shots, so that as I'm the 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 downtime between me being able to shoot between my weapon like between my bullets i'm not going to be able to get shot because i'm not in front of them right that's jiggle peeking uh, head glitching is just playing an angle where only your head is visible so if you're strafing on a head glitch it's going to be very very hard for the enemy to hit you and that's you know it's a very very uh, good power position and environmental awareness is mainly just being able to play certain angles where only one person from a team can shoot you or you know, I'm looking to my right, shooting this one person, but I know there's a guy to my left, and I also know there's a pole to my left, so I'm moving in, in, in a way that I'm playing behind the pole to the guy to my left, but to the guy in front of me, I'm just strafing normally in a 1v1, right? Those, those are the three techniques. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you three different TikToks, TikToks of mine, um, and... They're, they're all, all different lengths and different things happening. And you're going to kind of uh, have a look, watch them, and let me know when I use certain techniques. So whether we're going to watch we're going to watch each of them through first, just go through all once. And you're going to see if you, you're going to pay attention, see if you can notice any of these techniques. And we're going to go through it again. And you're going to tell me where I'm using certain techniques. Or I'm going to bring you to those certain points in the videos and say, what was I doing here? You know, okay? Yeah. Okay, did you notice anything while watching the video? Did you notice any techniques I was using? Um, strafing? Oh no, positioning techniques, positioning techniques we spoke about oh. right at the beginning. Uh, constantly moving. Oh, it was indeed constantly moving? Okay, so right at the beginning, there's one that happens right at the beginning. Now this is one of the one of them we, we, we spoke about, but See how I'm positioning myself here? What do you think I'm doing correctly right here? Uh, you're not fully exposing yourself. Okay, yes, I'm not fully exposing myself, but I also took height. Now, I'm playing uh, a timer, right? I'm playing my, my out-of-bounds timer here. So this is before the nerf that they made in the current update where you can't pull out uh, any abilities or weapons. So what I was doing is I'm playing my height like this. So they have no angles on me, right? That if they look up... They're just going to see a pixel. They're not going to be able to shoot me. And either way, I can just unpeak, right? So I'm taking the advantage of taking ultimate height. Now, what I mean by ultimate height is you, there's high grounds. And then there's ultimate height, which is the highest point in a current area. So, for example, if I was... Say for example, I was down here with these guys. Ultimate height would probably be back here on this ledge here. 
or up by these uh there's a little like um balcony type thing you can climb up to those would be ultimate high or down where my bangalore is um i believe that's bangalore i can't remember so i'm playing my height and i'm playing a almost almost a head glitch because i'm only peeking what i need to peek and obviously because these guys are in a fight they're not going to be looking up at me and then as soon as my timer hits two i drop down Now what I'm doing here, this is one of the three techniques I spoke about before. Do you any idea what it was? Um, strafing? Environmental awareness. No. Oh. So, what I'm doing here is, I know that this guy is up here, right? I know he's above me. So, I'm playing around the angle of this pill. So that I know if I play on the right side here of the pill, while he's pushing over to me, I know that I can crouch behind it and I'm calm. I'm safe behind cover. But then I also know that if I move to my left, I can also crouch underneath this uplifted part of the pill so that he can't shoot me. And then worst comes to worst, I can crouch jump into the pill. And then if he's on this each side of the pill, he's, there's less chance of him being able to hit me as well. Now there's a really, really important bit I want to show you. And I want to I wanna ask what you think I'm doing here. Super important. Okay, it's this one. So, first of all, actually, uh, let me play it, then I'll ask you. See what I did there? Jiggle peeking. Nice, perfect. I jiggle peeked, playing this, playing this angle, right? So you see how he kept shooting. So when I when I said right at the beginning, I said you jiggle peek to either shoot in between shots or to bait people's shots. So they have to reload. What I did, I shot my shots. As soon as he started shooting me, I jiggle peeked. I unpeeked, let him waste a bunch of his uh, a bunch of his shots, and then as I repeeked again, he'd stopped shooting. And was trying to play cover, so I just got three shots on him because he wasn't shooting at me. And now I do something very very uh, important here as well. Watch this. It's very very subtle. Any idea what I did there? Um, just doing. No, no, no. Position. Oh, we're doing mainly positioning here. Oh. I don't know. Okay, so what I was doing is... They'd actually rezzed here, right? I heard the res, And the horizon is directly below here, down to my left. I, I, think you, I don't think you can see it because it's cut off from the TikTok. But the horizon's down here to the left. So what I do is as I'm shooting this guy, I'm backing up. I'm backing uh, up behind me. So that the horizon doesn't have an angle on me. So what I'm doing is I'm playing my situational awareness and my environmental awareness. And I'm forcing a 1v1 with the Bangalore. Now she's a bit lost, I will be honest. It's a bit of a bad example because I don't know what she's doing here. She's just kind of... I guess she's just practicing her parkour or something. But I'm forcing a single 1v1. Even though there's two people alive in the fight, the angle I'm playing forces me to be able to shoot one person. And now here... So I do here. It's kind of it's 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 kind of what I tried to do. I kind of fail, but can you can you see what I was trying to do here? Yeah. Do you have, okay. What 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 was I trying to do here? Hide behind the metal thing. Okay, and what was I going to do behind that metal thing? What Jiggle was, peak. There we go. Perfect. However, my environmental awareness, I kind of messed up because I fell off. There we go. Is what it is. Um, but you can see what I was doing now. This isn't a position, a uh, positional technique, but this is a technique I've taught you in game. I want to see if you can spot it. Tell me what I'm doing here. Tell me what technique. I've, I've taught you this technique many, many times. See, I'm shooting. I miss, and then I do that. See what I did? Hip fire. There we go. I did the ADS hip fire trick. As as I come up this, as I come up this, uh, this gravity lift, I aim in, realize it's gonna be really hard, and just hip fire. But because I had an ADS at the beginning, my hip fire, my hip fire actually has increased. So that, that was that was pretty good. So to go over that, we had playing my ultimate height and playing particular angles where I can't get shot. Then we had playing environmental awareness, jiggle peeking my angles, attempting to jiggle peek my angles later on, um, playing at certain angles where different people can't shoot me, all that kind of stuff, right? Good. It's pretty good. All right, this is the second one. I'm going to watch this through again, and then we'll go over it one more time. 
You know, this was a bit of an awkward com. I will say this first. Um, I, I already spoke to her when after this after this game finished and kind of said your comms are really confusing. But um, she basically said he's gone up, like he's not there anymore, and then said he didn't go up. So I I missed time to res. He didn't go up though. See, I didn't know he was in that corner, so I missed time to res and lost a lot of health. But because of this, I played I played a certain way. Mine, you're better. I'm definitely not. You're better. See? Valkyrie's pushing. I maybe I might be I might be better. I might be uh... Okay, so there's not really much to, to you, you you can see what I was doing, right? I was I was playing behind these walls and I was playing my angles, right? You you, you, you can kind of you, you can see what's going on, right? There's there's no reason for me to to me to say, you know, what am I doing here? Cuz it's the entire video. Um but I don't think I'd call this jiggle peeking because jiggle, I mean, you know, I'm not really jiggle peeking anything. I'm just crouching behind this and playing my angles. But that's the thing is, this is, an, this is another positioning tool, right? So I'm playing my angles. Um, so here, for example, this is, this, is, this, is a, this is a good part. So I take a lot of damage here. And then I back up. Instead of playing this knockdown, because if I play this knockdown, I have nothing to jiggle peek on. Because it's a white knockdown, he can spray it, and he can just jump over the knockdown and kill me, right? So I back up to play this angle here. Then I jiggle peek up, play behind, play behind this, this, this fucking, I don't know what this is. I play behind my angles, play behind the, the, the bar, I suppose. And I'm constantly, I'm kind of jiggle peeking here, right? Because what I'm doing is I am peeking in between my shots. So, you know, remember when I said about jiggle peeking through a door and shooting like a Mastiff, for example, if I'm shooting in between my Mastiff shots and I'm, un I'm unpeeking the door, I'm jiggle peeking, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm only peeking up when I can shoot. And then obviously I've done a lot of damage, so I just wide swing while he's healing because he's playing a knockdown. And if someone's playing a knockdown and they're low, you don't want to give them the ability to resex, then they're just going to keep playing the knockdown. See what I was doing there? Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Now, this one isn't as technical. This one's quite obvious what I was doing. I, don't, I, I haven't watched the end of this video, so I'm not sure if I was doing anything cool at the end of the video. But at the beginning of the video, there's, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll play it. Okay, so that was actually a lot better than I thought it was. So that was that there was actually a lot in there, which is really good. So, right from the get go, can you see anything I'm doing here? Head glitching. Perfect. I am exactly. I am head glitching here. So I'm. What I'm, what I'm doing is I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of jiggle peeking this head glitch, right? So I'm playing a head glitch and see, in between, see while I'm reloading, I drop down, I crouch down so that no one can shoot me. And then I hear more movement. So as I'm reloading, I kind of jiggle peek up to look and get some information, then peek back down, right? So by the time I've reloaded, I peek back up, play the head glitch again. And then I'm, I keep playing head glitch, stuff like that. Um, now I see two people pushing me here. And I'm popping a bat, so I know I have to reposition. Because if, if I play here, I've got some boxes to jiggle peek, and that's it. So I completely reposition. Now, about here, this is very subtle, but do you, do you have any idea why I'm playing this angle I am here? See, I, I'm standing out in the open, but any idea why I'm playing where I am? Because oh. you can move easily. Yes, I can, but why? why am I positioning here? And so I can move easily. What what can I move to? So this is the move up to it. 
height. Okay, I can move up to height, yeah, but it, let's say, for example, this guy turn around and start shooting me. What can I do right here on this wall? Hide behind it. Right, I can jiggle peek the wall. I can play my angles correctly. Nice. And then, so obviously he doesn't shoot back because he's a bit of a melon. And he starts raising in the open. So I get to play on height, right? So now I'm playing, I'm playing the height, which is good. So all, you always want to take height on people 99% of the time, right? It's always a good positioning tool. And then here, again, I'm playing height. He's a bit lost. He's a bit confused. See this? See what I'm doing here? Yeah. What am I doing? Jiggle peeking. Perfect. Now I'm repositioning from height. Now, this is very important. This is kind of a good positioning tool. Um, everyone should be doing this. But look. I realize I'm in a bad spot, right? I've overpeaked to the right. The pathfinder's on my left. I don't know where the last guy is. He's most likely to my right. And I'm in the open. So as a last attempt call. Can we not go? I slide over to jiggle peek this left angle. And have a knockdown to crouch behind. So I can still look and get information. Boom. Perfect positioning. So. Do you think you understand the three positioning tools now? Yes. The three main positioning techniques, at least. All right. With that said, I'm going to hop on my alt account. And we're going to run some duos. I'm going to jump off the map. And I'm going to spectate you. And we can talk about what goes wrong in the game after that's happened. And if you have any idea of what's gone wrong, then I'll let you have your say first, and then I'll correct anything you get wrong. And if you don't know where you went wrong, then I'll just, uh, you know, I'll tell you how, how, you, how you should have played things, okay? All right. All right.